fire, which was a whole scene of itself. Now there's an award named after him, as there should be in the sports world, because that is somebody who is the definition of selfless. Uh, it's going to Prince Harry. Oh. Who I don't even think he's a prince anymore, right? He said, don't call me that. Yeah, he's been excommunicated <laughs> as yeah. well. Chosen. Don't. Chosen. Not See, why does the SBs do this shit? You know what I mean? This is asinine. This is like actually the most embarrassing thing I think I've ever seen in my life. for sports people. What? Come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's just a gimmick. It's like you couldn't find yeah. like either some active U.S. military member or someone who can't serve anymore because of something that they did while serving. Right. Who is some like there's probably hundreds yeah, and millions. thousands of people that they could have found who could have benefited from this award but instead let's give it to prince harry the make up an, an award yeah yeah, make, yeah. yes the very least uh, somebody from the united states perhaps. or just make up an award how about it's like the sb for a royal family member who doesn't want to be called right. royal family member who <laughs> loves sports yeah those yeah. two yeah. Got a good ring got a great ring to it they should do that harry. well hello beautiful people um much has been said about what's going on with Pat Tillman. But let's get really to the root of all of this. Today is July 1st, happy Canada Day. I'm gonna to try to upload this video. But yeah, uh, there's a lot going on that people don't know about. I know that everybody's outraged because of what the mother said. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's not the mother who sold out Pat Tillman. I am pretty sure today or tomorrow, maybe by Wednesday at the latest, we will see a statement saying that the Pat Tillman Foundation is, is supporting ESPN and all of this. That they've done this with the, uh, you know, with the blessing of the Pat Tillman Foundation. And they would have been right. Because unfortunately, the love of a mother is not the same of the love of a widow or of a, of a wife who's moved on and remarried. Because they have gone behind. Pat Tillman Foundation has now become a business for certain people. And Pat Tillman's ex-wife -ex used to work for ESPN. She has remarried. Her and her husband are, are getting a salary and a well-paid salary among other businesses from uh, Pat Tillman's foundation and the sponsors. And let's not forget that Marie Tillman Shenton used to work for ESPN. And ESPN is one of the biggest donors for this. ESPN, NFL, do we remember Harry giving an award at the NFL that Harry made a surprise visit for the NFL thing? Did we forget that? Guess who also is one of the major donors? JP Morgan, does that sound familiar? NBC, does that sound familiar? And of course, ESPN. And let's not forget that ESPN is owned by Bob I by Disney, who's run by, by Bob Iger, who also is a co-chairman at the Navy SEAL Foundation and also assists and is a consultant or a chair also, part of the board of directors of the Living Legends of Aviation, where Harry keeps getting all these little awards. So I feel bad for the mother, but let's get into this. As I said, I was hoping to come down here for Christmas Day to be with the Gurkhas. I don't know why, it was just something that I wanted to do just to be with them because, well, they, they don't really, <laughs> I don't know if they, they didn't really celebrate Christmas that much, but we had some fantastic games that we played out in the yard there. And um, yeah, no, really, everyone is really well looked after here by the Gurkhas. Food's fantastic, goat curries and chicken curries, and I probably shouldn't have said goat curries, but um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's really good fun. And uh... Exactly. That's why every soldier goes to war for. They want to go in Afghanistan. They want to leave their loved ones. And I'm going to leave the entire interview in the video description, guys, um, for you to go watch it. Because I just clipped these two parts. But if you go into the interview with This is Harry, it gets worse. Now, I've said before many, many times that I blame the royal family and I blame the left woke media and I blame a lot of people who keep saying, oh, what Harry does is not harmful. So what if it's, it is harmful. It is harmful because he gets, he, he is allowed to get away with all of this. He is. So that in, him, that in, in Harry and Meghan Markle's mind reinforces that they are that, that he's that patriotic. Harry did not, uh, was not the founder of Invictus Games. It was a ripoff of the Warrior Games, which, by the way, it's still running today. 
And I think ESPN shows the, those games. But let's get into, yeah, but this is what I said. Soldiers don't want to willingly leave their families and go for during Christmas time. They all fight to go back to their families. So look at this, because if you look at that interview, even then, way back then, before he met Rachel Meghan Markle, Harry was already trashing his family. It's just that we didn't pay attention because in that interview, he says, when they asked him, why did you come for Christmas? Don't you think you're, don't you miss your family? What is it about, uh, don't you miss anything about the UK? And he said, no, not my family, nobody. So pay attention to that part of the clip. Please go watch it, okay? After you watch my video. And by the way, thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing. We're going to look at the other side of the coin here in, in, in regards to the Pat Tillman Foundation. As I said, today is July 1st. I'm just waiting to see... Um, I apologize, but, you know, the Internet is crap. Um, I'm sure that we will get a statement by Tuesday latest. By Tuesday. Just just watch. We will get a statement saying that the Pat Tillman Foundation supports this because the mother came out and said, I don't approve of it. Nobody consulted the Pat Tillman Foundation because probably Marie went behind the mother's back. And, you know, they got something little going on. And this is all done to distract from the fact that Harry committed is 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 a spy. He committed espionage with that court case where he destroyed evidence. He has an encrypted hard disk that suddenly was found in California. Remember how many years I've been telling you that Meghan Markle? Remember I've been talking about a little hard disk, like a USB thing that an acquaintance of mine was supposed to pick up? I've been talking about this since 2019, um, that, that, that this acquaintance of mine was part of the team that was supposed to pick up a USB hard drive, and she refused to take it because she said that the stuff that was there, and if you don't, please go watch my earlier videos. And people kept saying, well, how do you know? How do you know? Well, oh, Lord and behold, we now find out that there's an inscripted hard drive found in California at the hands of pretty much Rachel Meghan Markle. Because of this, I am sure. I believe that Harry did not know that Rachel Meghan Markle had that hard drive because he's an idiot. Okay? There's a lot going on here that they want to distract people from. Just watch that this Pat Tillman story was dropped within 48 hours at the most, of the newspaper, of the judge basically saying that Harry destroyed evidence. Any other person on earth that destroys evidence like that, that has encrypted information, confidential information in regards to the royal family, would be in jail, would be under investigation because that is an act of espionage. Period. That's, that's textbook. And, he's, and not only is he keeping that information that he shouldn't be having or given to anybody, he was already admonished by the judge and, and the security case where he sent confidential information that even the Minister of Veteran Affairs was not entitled to have. People are, and this is a great distraction tactic. This is a great distraction tactic because now nobody's talking about the destruction of evidence, but never mind destruction of evidence. The fact that Harry had that evidence in, the, in his hands in the first place. The fact that Harry had access to all of that in the first place. The fact that Harry was still part of the server, he still had an active email address with the uh, James, um, St. James Palace and Kensington Palace account, which was this deactivated. This act, I don't know how you call it deactivated, it's activated in April 2000. 24 of this year before he went to Nigeria. There's a lot of nefarious things ongoing here. I do, I do believe that when the mother started, the mother, and I'm not talking about the wife, Marie Tillman, too. And my, and my, guys, we're going to see this. This woman is not a good deal. She is selling out. And her husband, her now husband, also works for the foundation. And they both earn salaries and they both have big businesses going on as well things because they use the Pat Tillman Foundation to improve their images and to do very good businesses while, while earning a very lucrative salary. So they are going to come out in the defense of, because Bob Iger, Disney owns, Disney owns ESPN. Bob Iger was just knighted. I know that he was recommended to be knighted in 2022 while the Queen was alive and because of COVID, he wasn't knighted until now. But still, the timing is suspicious. Pat Tillman gave his life. You know, he, he died horribly. This is a man who was selfless and who loved his country. You all know that whatever differences you and I may have, we both, are, all of us agree that our veterans, our soldiers, 
they deserve the utmost respect. I can tell you that no soldier goes to battle thinking, oh my God, I'm going to Afghanistan for the curry and because we play fantastic games out there. They don't. I can guarantee you that Pat Tillman, when he, when he went there, he wasn't thinking of the curry and he didn't have a regiment of Gurkhas looking out for him. And I hope, I hope Mrs. Tillman, I mean Mrs. Tillman, Pat Tillman's mom, I don't mean Marie Tillman Shenton, is watching this because Harry has not earned any of those medals. Three of the medals that he loves to show are because of the Queen's achievements, the Jubilees. Three of those medals are one for each Jubilee of the Queen, which meant that the Queen herself, that was a landmark for the Queen, not Harry. Harry didn't do anything. And the other one was for participation because he went to Afghanistan to eat curry and play fantastic games while being guarded by the Gurkhas. I can guarantee you that Pat Tillman would have benefited from having an entire regiment of Gurkhas, plus his personal security team. And probably he'd be back live here. And, and you know, and he would have lived because there wouldn't have been any friendly fire who would have been able to reach him. That is the fact. That is a fact. Pat Tillman went there and he lost his life. He didn't have any bodyguards. He wasn't eating curry. He wasn't playing games. He was serving his country fighting for his country, giving up money. Harry's making money of the, of the memory of Pat Tillman. And his wife or ex-wife or his, well, I don't know what the hell she is now because she's remarried. I guess she's his widow. Has clearly moved on. And what is in her mind is how much money she's making and not keeping the memory of Pat Tillman. I know that Pierce Morgan has come out with, oh, fighting words and stuff like that. That's excellent. But I, guys, I know you all say, where do you get your info? I can guarantee you, I, I, you know what? I will stake my life that we're going to get a statement from ESPN and saying that Pat Tillman is, is, is um, the Pat Tillman Foundation is backing them or that, you know, of course, that they, they talked about it with Pat Tillman or that Pat Tillman Foundation, they would never do that without the consent of the Pat Tillman. That it was, I wouldn't even be surprised. That, well, I don't think they will, but maybe they will say, oh, even Pat Tillman is the one who mentioned it to us. I don't think they will go that far, but who knows? Who knows? But this is a disgrace. This is a disgrace. This is a disgrace, and I, I agree with Pat McAfee. Why is it happening? All you have to do is look at the Pat Tillman Foundation and Marie Tillman Shenton and her husband, Joseph Shenton. I believe that, that is their names. But isn't it incredible? Isn't it incredible? And it is worse because after the backlash, after the backlash, ESPN has held meetings with Harry. They ha because they're not stupid. They are not stupid. They're not stupid. They know that this, they took it too far. Why did they take it that far? It you know, why did they have to do it? They should have picked somebody from the Warrior Games, the organizers of the Warrior Games. Harry is a coward. This man has never seen a day in battle. He has, the only time he saw a wounded soldier was on his way back to, in a plane in a gust of wind blew the curtain that was that, that where the, the really badly wounded soldier was. That's the extent of Harry's war, um, what's it called, um, experience or seen blood. This man was in a tent and because he was a JTAG, he had to be in air conditioning and, and then also sealed because the sand could not get into the equipment. And of course, air conditioning because it's electronic equipment and it needs to be cooled down because otherwise, you know, it doesn't work very well. But his main goal for going to Afghanistan doing these tours was to eat curry and hang around with the Gurkhas because why not? It's a lot of fun. And he had no family values. Pat Tillman went to war because he wanted to protect his family. He wanted to protect his country. We cannot, we cannot compare this toy soldier, this coward to Pat Tillman. An American hero, a fallen soldier, a slain soldier, and whose mother is outraged and fighting, fighting to, to keep his memory uh, respectable. Remember for the right reasons, not for the bad reasons. Not for the bad reasons. Like Pat Tillman's mom said, awarding this honor 
to someone who does not reflect the award's intent diminishes its value and disrespects Tillman's memory. Absolutely, absolutely. And what really did it for me with Mrs. Tillman is saying he publicly disrespected his family, ran away from service to his country as a royal. He is unworthy of this award. Now, Mrs. Tillman speaking out because Mrs. Tillman couldn't convince them not to go ahead with this because Marie Tillman is the person responsible for all of this at the moment. It is absolutely, absolutely mind boggling that a mother of a fallen soldier, somebody who already lost a lot because Marie Tillman has moved, M Marie Shenton, she's only keeping the Tillman because she's a grifter. It suits her because she's remarried. But the Tillman name brings her association. Does that ring a bell to anybody you know, guys? She's not a Tillman anymore. She's a Shenton. She's remarried. But she's keeping the Tillman because it makes, it makes sense. That's how much she loves the fallen soldier. It is terrible that the mother has been put in this position because, and I... I am sure you will see something come out. Guys, and I know you probably say, oh, you're crazy. I know that I'll get all the comments. You're crazy. What are you talking about? I posted earlier a community post saying that ESPN is having emergency meetings because, as I said, they didn't expect this backlash. They never counted on, on Pat Tillman's mom coming out fighting like her son because this is what they do. They, they put it out in the public because hoping that nobody's going to come and call them out because they feel so powerful. But they didn't count on the lone voice of a, of a, of a fallen soldier's mother, I feel like crying, who's defending her son's memory and does not want to be associated with such a coward, somebody who does not embody any, any of the qualities of her son, somebody who was selfless, who didn't think of money. Harry has sold out his family, his country, Harry's not the founder of Invictus. He has never fought for his country. He's gone there on vacation. He has never taken a random drug test because he would have never been able to pass. He would have been dishonorably discharged. And the reason why he left in 2013 is because he couldn't pass the officer's exams. They couldn't cheat once again because, yes, in order for him to get into the military, Eaton, 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 where he was, which is a private posh school, public school, fudged the grades to give him the minimum amount of grades in order to qualify to be in the military. And then the second scandal broke when it was his aide who helped him take the test to become an officer, to pass it, because he failed it. So that was one of the part of the hacking scandals because a voicemail that Prince William left for Catherine where he was really angry saying that he didn't get that help like Harry did from, the, from, the, from his aide helping him pass that exam. And I don't mean studying. I don't mean studying. So he, Harry had gone as far as he could go in the military without them being so obvious as to breaking the law. He had been racist towards his teammates. He had to be sent to a, to a, to a cult seminar to sensitize him towards culture, to, to other cultures, because he was being absolutely racist towards his fellow soldiers. He, and now we know because he said it himself that all the time he was in the military, this man was high as a kite, trying to kill his own father, but he stopped himself, probably because he knew he'd get in trouble. He probably knew that he, could, he, he couldn't get away with that. And that is the man who goes to eat curry and play games with the Gurkhas, who are actually risking their lives to keep his ginger butt safe. How quaint. How quaint. So, I will apologize if I don't see any statement. Probably I'm wrong. Probably I mean I'm pissing, uh, as I said, I'm pissing off the pot. And if, it's, and if we don't have anything from ESPN or, or the Pat Tillman Foundation saying that we support Harry or anything like that, I will eat my words. I will eat my words and I'll apologize to you guys. But by Wednesday, we will see a statement from ESPN or Disney even or the Pat Tillman Foundation saying that they support this choice. We'll see. But they did have a meeting and they did ask Harry to decline. And Harry said no. 
because that won't look good for his PR, for his image. It won't look good for his image. And because he's now convinced, thanks to everybody in the United States or the press who have made him think that he's untouchable, that if he does go along and doesn't and declines this, this award, that he is given in to everything that he's doing, that he that they these people are saying that he's not worthy of that honor. And there is absolutely no way in hell that Harry is going to admit that he's not worthy of any honors, that he's not worthy of being a veteran, because that's what he's that's the only thing he has left to sell in the United States, that he's a war hero, a veteran. I had my interview with Perez Hilton, and Perez Hilton think that Harry is like your regular hero, that he was in the front line fighting. No, 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 no. He was in a bunker, playing Nintendo, eating curry, playing wonderful games with the Gurkhas. That's what Harry was doing. That is his tour. So Harry, like Meghan Markle, if you look at their CV, they're collecting everything. All of this is a distraction from the backup people and the fact that he stole, and allegedly, according to my, he was in possession of information he should have never been in possession of. And not only that, he destroyed evidence, which is even, and what is worse, he is giving this information out to third parties that he shouldn't be giving this information to. That is espionage. That is pun, that, that, I mean, forget Assange. Forget Assange. We are being led down a path. And Marie, if I am wrong and this Marie Tillman Shenton comes out and backs the mother, I will eat my words in this channel. But everything in my bones is telling me that this woman will back up, will go against the mother, and will back up her business because the Pat Tillman Foundation has become a business for her. And she's not about to spite Three of the biggest donors, because it's J.P. Morgan, four, sorry, J.P. Morgan, NFL, let's not forget Harry Hand, that that's her prized gift uh, award at the NFL that nobody understood what he was doing there. Okay? That toy soldier, remember when he gave that award to this, uh, to this player from the NFL? J.P. Morgan, NBC, and ESPN, and Disney. They're not about to. They're not about to. And I wonder how much she got paid. Please leave me your comments. And again, if this woman backs the mother, I will eat my words here. I will eat them. I will apologize. But if not, but I, I'm sorry, I, call me a cynic, but every bone in my being tells me that this woman will back um, ESPN. She's a former employee of ESPN. But most importantly, she's moved on from Pat Tillman. And the Tillman last name to her re means revenue. That's it. That's it. But again, I may be wrong. And I know what you're going to say. You're ranting, Paula. Where do you get that name from? It's the truth. You watch it. Watch it. I'm not wrong on this one, guys. Trust me, I'm not wrong.